wanted to go over some of the concepts that are critical to counseling. These are by no means all the concepts that you need in counseling, but they are important factors when we think about the effectiveness of counseling. And I want to go over the four that are on the board and uh, talk about them briefly. So the first concept in counseling that we want to talk about is attending. Attending refers to the counselor's verbal and nonverbal communication with the client. Uh, this basically is uh, nodding of the head, a smile, uh, subvocalizations, mm -hmm, uh, including words, please continue, things like this. Any sort of audible or visual uh, communication to the client by the counselor that indicates that um, the counselor is attending to what the client is saying. This is very important because if the counselor gives no indication to the client of paying attention, uh, then the client tends to lose hope that you don't really care, no one cares, this isn't doing me any good. And so it's important that uh, one of the most important concepts for the counselor to communicate to the client is, I am attending to your words, I am engaged in what you're saying, I am interested, so that they might feel at ease, comfortable, and be drawn out to give a further disclosure. So attending is a very critical and important concept in counseling. Once again, it's both visual, nodding of the head, smiles, and auditory, sub vocalizations, mm-hmm, that's interesting, words continue, I, I understand, things like this, verbal and nonverbal communication that uh, get the client to uh, communicate further. The second concept we want to go over is immediacy. Immediacy. This concept refers to things that as the client is opening up and talking, something may be brought up in the conversation that the counselor needs to key in on immediately, right away, stop everything else and deal with that situation that's come up. And you've got to be listening and attending to know when those things come up and be able to recognize them so that when the issue is brought forward, you immediately stop everything else and deal with that issue. It's that critical. It's that important. Uh, there are some things that may seem tangential or insignificant to the client as they bring them up, but if the counselor keys in on that and says, that is really critical, and even if it seems uh, superfluous on the outside, on the perimeter of what the client's really trying to deal with, the counselor needs to immediately stop the client and deal and focus in on that particular issue. So immediacy, knowing what's important and being willing to stop the client where they are and deal solely with that particular issue of critical importance instead of putting it off till later. Immediacy. And then next we want to look at expertness. Expertness. And this counseling concept, or what we're trying to say here is that the counselor needs to know what they are competent to deal with and what they're not competent to deal with. If they are competent to deal with something, they should say so and do it with confidence. They should not, however, pretend or act as if they can help someone out of sympathy or tenderness of heart when they really have no idea how to help the person. If it were to come to light by the client, uh, from the counselor, that they really don't know what they're doing, uh, this completely undermines the whole process and keeps the client from feeling any sort of confidence that they can get the help they need. So know what you know and also know what you don't know and be willing to say, I don't know, but I will help find someone for you that can help you deal with that problem. Uh, I know you're tender-hearted, but to say, I really want to help this person, I don't know how to, but I'll act like I know how to, really just hurts them in the long run. Get them to someone who really knows how to help with that particular situation. That's the best thing you can do. So know what you know, know what you don't know, don't pretend to know something you don't know in order to help someone. Be an expert in your field, pass someone off to other experts in their field when something comes up. And then finally, evaluating. And this is one of the most important concepts for a counselor. Uh, you want to be helping people, but if you're not evaluating, you don't know whether you're providing help or not. And so you need to, from time to time, both by yourself and perhaps with the client as well, spend some time evaluating whether or not progress is being made, whether or not the help that is needed is being brought to bear. So basically, in this case, uh, it is the counselor's appraisal of the counseling process. And then that may include feedback from the client. If it looks as if no progress is being made, then you may need to look elsewhere or even refer them on to someone else. But without that evaluation, um, neither one of you, the client nor the counselor, will know if you're really making forward progress. It can be slow progress, that's fine. But if no progress is being made because the evaluation determines that, something else needs to be tried and need to move on. So these are four critical counseling concepts that you need to know. There are obviously more uh, concepts that are important in their own right uh, related to counseling, but remember attending, 
both the visual and auditory clues that I am clued into what you're saying. I'm listening. I'm, I'm with you. Immediacy, stopping, breaking in when something critical comes up. Expertness, know what you know, know what you don't know. And then evaluating, which is taking time to appraise, is this really helpful or not? If you'd like to look at this and learn more or other concepts related to this, underneath this video there's a link. Click on it, it'll take you to a website with that information. And while you're there, you'll find another link to an ebook that's ready for immediate download.